All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Random Power. So it's the Monday after the Arnold Classic Australia. Um, and I had one more video that I wanted to make regarding the top six placings um, at the Arnold Classic Australia. So in this video, I want to talk about maybe the number one underdog coming out of this show um, and going into the competitive season, and that would be Luke Sando. So Luke Sando is a bodybuilder from the UK that we haven't really seen too much of. But I thought from a size standpoint, this guy was tremendously impressive at the Arnold Australia. Now, obviously, there's a tad bit of a conditioning issue here, and that's probably what held him back and put him in sixth place. Um, but honestly, I feel like sixth place was kind of a robbery for him. I mean, giving him six, I think he could have easily beat that fourth place guy, Lucas Osadil, um, even though that Lucas had tremendous conditioning. Um, his structure was so bad, I think that Luke Sando certainly deserved um, to beat him with the structure and the size that Luke Sandow brought. I mean, he looks very reminiscent of a Dorian Yates type of physique, especially from the back. Um, his back development is absolutely insane. When you see him in that lineup um, next to some of the guys that they were comparing for 7, 8, and 9, um, his back was smoking those guys, man. You could see at some points during his posing routine, he did have a little bit of a distended gut, um, but he did a very, very good job overall on stage of controlling that gut. Um, and that's really the name of the game. I think a lot of these bodybuilders really do end up having some sort of gut, but it's really a question of whether or not they're able to control it. Um, that's one of the things that I wanted to commend him for is the fact that he did have somewhat of a big waist, but you could tell he was really trying um, and really paying a lot of attention to controlling it on stage and not letting it hang out in the transitions, not letting it hang out in the mandatories. Um, so I want to commend him for that. And I just think this guy is going to be a dark horse going forward in some of these shows. This guy is a tremendous bodybuilder, tremendous size. Um, I do know that he's competing in about two weeks at the IFBB Indy Pro in Indianapolis. Um, and Steve Kuklo is also going to be competing there. So I think it's going to be down to, you know, maybe him and Steve for one and two. I don't even know who else is doing the show, but I think those are the two biggest names that are jumping in it. Um, so, I, you know, that's going to be a show where you could see him really make waves, certainly place within that top three and potentially win a show like that. Although Steve Kuklo, the package that he brought to the Arnold Classic, if he's able to bring that again, man, it's going to be a very, very tough package for Luke Sando to beat, especially in the conditioning aspect. But I just think, man, this is somebody that we need to be watching out for in the future. This guy, crazy structure, crazy size on this guy, um, crazy muscularity. His posing was actually pretty good as well. He did kind of a Dorian Yates style posing routine. Um, I guess he kind of knew that he had a similar physique to Dorian Yates and he was hitting poses very similar to the way that Dorian hit those poses. So again, I'm just very impressed by this guy. I was really kind of shocked to see him in sixth um, and not see him, you know, place higher. He was beaten by Hidetari Yamagishi and, of course, Lucas Osladil. I think he looked better than both of those guys, but certainly Hide was infinitely more conditioned um, than Luke Sando, and that's probably what gave him the edge. But from a size and structure standpoint um, between him and Hide, I think it's no contest. And again, from a structure standpoint with Lucas Osadil, I think, again, this is no contest. So if this guy is able to come in um, with crazy crisp conditioning, Luke Sando is going to be a serious threat um, to any major pro show. Mark my words on that. When you see this guy come in peeled, he's going to be one of those guys that is super dangerous. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Luke Sando's physique. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.